Yo, what's up, guys? Quickly, before we do start the video, I got one massive giveaway for you all. I am giving away $100 to one lucky winner. Holy shit, if you win this, you are instantly rich. So good luck to everyone who does enter on that. And we are also giving away five inboxes to the first person that does comment on the video. But yeah, guys, for a chance to win $100 in game, all you have to do is just like the video, comment your in-game name, be subscribed to my channel, turn on that post notification bell, guys, and also join Anarchy. The link is down below. There are currently all of these players online right now, probably around 40 or 50. I'm not too sure but definitely make sure you check it out i also want to shout out bang clue thank you so much dude you really did help me today he kind of like showed me around the server so you're a beast dude thank you so much but yeah guys anyways i'm gonna shut up good luck on that giveaway and i hope you enjoyed the video what's up guys and welcome back to the gk on this we are on anarchy rsps okay i've never been on this server and honestly this is insane as you can tell from the graphics it's like a higher revision server which is actually very unique because there's not many of these about anymore and it also offers a bunch of customs which i know you guys like so so in this video today, I'm going to show you around the world of Anarchy and show you what features it has to offer. Right, okay, so the first thing I'm going to show off is the home area. We are going to start off with the bank, the grand exchange right here. I've not seen any high revision server with this. So you can type in anything like a rapier and it'll come up with a rapier obviously and you can buy it and sell it or whatever. And then there is the XP well. There's an altar right here, Slayer Masters. The Assassin Shop, which is really cool. You can buy all of these. The Insane Shop, which is only available for the Insane Mode players, which I will go over. And then you got the Prestige Shop. And when you talk to him, it comes up with this. And pretty much, he will tell you everything about prestiging. An Ecto Token Star. You can buy a bunch of things here for Ecto Tokens. There's a bunch of flax and then a spinning wheel. I'm going to guess these are here for Iron Man and stuff. And then there's like a skilling area. You can do Hunter, Woodcutting. You got Fishing over here. Pretty much the main things. And there's also a Ghost Banker. Which, of course, is a closer bank than the one over there. The home area is so big. Holy shit. All right, you got some farming patches here. You've also got a bunch of ores that you can mine. Some gem rocks as well. You got a stove here. The estate agent npc you got the loyalty token star the potion mixer dude that pretty much decancel your potions you got a furnace and anvil the main shops which is like the general star i guess and then the event shop which is right next to it and you can buy stuff from here for event tokens and then if you walk down here holy crap yeah i was telling you it's a big freaking home you have the clan wars portals the wise old man skill cape shop the summoning guy another bank melee range and magic shops you got the max cape guy the pvp shop one and two you can get some really cool pk stuff from here and then here you can click on the obelisk and do your summoning. So yeah, that is about it for the home area. A very unique custom home. Oh no, wait, one thing I did forget. What the hell is that? Guys, we got freaking Barney the dinosaur. And he's a boss drop table and you can find an NPC that drops certain items. You can look at the NPC drop tables and you can also check my drop rate. <laughs> yeah, I just found it really funny how it's freaking Barney the dinosaur. Like what? All right, moving on to the next thing. You might have noticed we got this guy following me. You might be like, what the hell is this? But trust me guys, this is awesome. I was actually playing around with it earlier, so pretty much. He is your very own pet, and pretty much you can use items on him, and he wears it, so yeah, he's now wearing the Malevent plate body. But before you do that, of course, you'll start off as a level 3. When you join the server, you will get this crystal, and pretty much if you right-click and press train, and he will teleport there. Hey, here he is on the grind, killing the yak right now. Yes, bro, you just killed it. Easy. So we actually get the loot, and we got- Oh, shit. Yo, we got double spin ticket. Shit, bro, I'll take that. You train him like a non- account if you right click and view stats right now he has 50 attack 50 strength and 49 defense so we've got a rune skimmy that we are going to use on him and that should make him more powerful to speed up his progress and once you have him some really op stats you can use like different gear on him like like an abyssal whip an amidal god sword or even some really op customs he can actually help you while you're bossing so yeah that is really cool i'm actually gonna let him train for a bit whilst i do show off some other content when you make a brand new account on anarchy it will come up with this and you can change your appearance of course you want to continue through all of this and it will show off like a really cool tutorial oh my god okay i'm gonna go over this later look at the wilderness right now yeah they have some really cool pvp bots that you can kill the thing i want to show off is a game mode so you got regular mode which is 100 time xp challenging 25 difficult 10 times hardcore one times and then iron man which is one times and you get some restrictions but wait okay there's a catch so pretty much you want to click something like i don't know we'll choose the iron man mode for now you are now playing iron man mode the most challenging mode in the game. Okay, that's good. We'll skip it. All right, and look at this. You can even change it a bit more. Dead man mode. So pretty much when you die on dead man mode, you lose a bunch of progress, but you also get a drop rate increase of 100%. But if you die, you lose 
one tenth of your XP. All right, yeah, we'll go with that. And it even gives you some more modes. So you got Insane Mode and Ultimate Iron Man Mode. If you want to try out the Ultimate Iron Man, which we are going to do, you get the Heroic Donator rank for free, which is worth 3,200 US dollars. You also can't use any banks, but you do get a massive experience boost. So we're going to click that. And you also get to get a preset made for you. I've gone for the melee, but as I said in the intro, you're going to click on YouTuber and then type in Diddy Scare. Just like that. And that is pretty much it for the game modes. I think it's really cool that they offer so many of them. Anaki also does have a bunch of bosses. So if we go to teleports and then bosses, you can see they have three pages of a bunch of bosses that you can do. We are going to try out Viraga. I'm not too sure if we can do it solo, but we will try it out. We are wearing like the best gear in game. Oh, that's big, dude. 47. Braga actually drops full Malevent, which is the best in slot melee gear. There isn't a full set in game yet, so it doesn't really have a price on it. If we get a Malevent piece in this video today, oh, I'll be so happy. Holy shit, I'm doing work to Viraga. Look at him, the absolute noob. Oh shit, the special effect came into place. I believe with the crossbow that I am wearing, you got a 1 in 100 chance of 1 hitting the NPC that you're going against. So yeah, that is really freaking OP. Oh shit, we got like a team going on. Hey, let's go, boys. Hey, it went back into place. <laughs> Easy. See you later, dude. Oh, we didn't really get any loot there. Holy shit, I almost died. Don't get me wrong. He is a really hard boss. I mean, I'm in like the max gear and he's hitting 40s on me. I've been killing it for like a minute and he's only on this HP. So, of course, if you get any of the rare drops, they'll be worth a lot of money. He also drops Abyssal Bludgeons and Vanguard, which of course are worth a shit ton of money as well. All right, I guess we're kind of almost there. I almost died again though. Oh, there we go. Did we get any loot? Oh, shit. Okay, we got a starved ancient effigy. <laughs> we'll take that. That's only to get a bit more XP, but I think it's kind of rare. We got 2,700 Ecto tokens as well. Let's go check out what we can buy. All right, we can't buy anything just yet, I don't think. A few bolt racks. Okay, we'll buy them. So that is Virago. Let's go try out some other bosses. All right, guys, let's go kill Lucian. You need this strange teleob to get there. We're going to enter the boss room. Let's go. I hope Lucian isn't too hard to kill. I know on different servers similar to these, he's like the hardest boss in the game so actually you know what we're kind of killing him fast so this shouldn't be too hard to do whoa what the fuck oh my god bro 98 that almost just one shot ko heard me what the let's try this again shall we oh my fuck yo it just hit a 120 this boss is all right you are finished there we go that's what i like to see lucian actually dropped christmas crackers holy shit we got 17,000 ecto token from that kill and obviously you get party out from christmas crackers which are worth a shit ton of money i think when he does that he hits you really hard oh my god i gotta be careful oh no he's doing it again eat up 78 Oh, I did it again, I think. I think I killed him. I didn't even realize. <laughs> we got some more Ecto tokens, some boss tokens. We're literally picking up every single bit of loot. Why not? I am actually having a lot of fun playing this server. It has been so long since I played a server like this. Uh, what loot did we get? Some more Ecto tokens. Thank you very much. You will get a Nice. Uh, we're not getting any rare drops, unfortunately, but collecting the boss tokens and stuff, it really does add up. They also have old school bosses like Cerberus and Zora. We're going to try out a little bit of Cerberus. Holy shit, they got like their own boss room as well. Oh my god, that is so cool. You can kill a bunch of Cerberus at a time. Cerberus number one dead. Cerberus number two dead. Oh my god, this is actually so fun. The thing I like about it is, even with really OP gear, it's still kind of a challenge to PVM. You can't just go around and want it things. It actually takes a little bit of skill to do it. There is Cerberus number three dead. I don't think we got any loot at all to be honest anaki also does have 16 quests which is actually crazy a few custom ones i think as well maybe in a separate video i could show these off but this video is kind of more like a servitor so when i do some more videos on here i will definitely show them off this is a really small feature but it's really unique like if you type in snow it will do a really cool animation like what the hell there is a bunch of them like yes it will do the yes emote. Dance. Oh, shit. What the hell? What the? If you type in what the fuck you do with this. <laughs> that guy just said dragon and he turned into a dragon. What? Wait, what? Are you serious? What the hell is that? Wait, if I type in tall, what the hell? Why does it work for this guy? He just said long head and that happened. I am actually so impressed with this server. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end off the video right there. Feel free to join Anarchy. The link will be down below. And of course, if you are thinking of joining, please do use my referral code as it would really help me out a lot. I am going to be doing a bunch more videos over on here. I really do enjoy the server. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end off the video right there. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like rating. Join the giveaway as it is in the intro. Also, please do subscribe to the channel. We are trying to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of summer. So if we could do that, that would be amazing. But yeah, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.